I am loving Accelerator more and more as he shows up. I mean, I was already glazing him saying like he's my real main character in the opening and ending reactions, but now to see what he is all about. The fact that he wasn't just this evil maniacal person that he seemed like during the, you know, Misaka clone arc. There was a reason why he was doing that, you know? Misaka Misaka told us the, the reason for even making contact. There was some deeper meaning, right? And even though he killed 10,000, the 10,000 he saved also saved him in a really poetic way. We also got Yoshikawa, who was really cool. She kind of has a lot of guilt, I think, and was looking for atonement. We also have Heaven Cancellor, bro. The Frog Doctor. Dude, I want. I need to do like a. I, I want to do like, like a side story, like a backstory that have, like the Heaven Cancellor. That title is fucking crazy. Basically, he is so good at his job, even though he only became a doctor to grope other nurses' asses. He prevents motherfuckers from reaching heaven because of that's how he's good as a doctor. And the interesting, or maybe um, an unfortunate byproduct of him being too good at his job is that. Whenever people take like quote unquote lethal damage, in the back of my mind, I'll always have Heaven Cancellor as insurance. So seemingly character death or you know dire situations could be just bailed out by Mr. Frog Doctor. But hey, let's get started with today's episode. What are we doing today? Are we back with Toma? We are. <laughs> Huh? We just eating toast. So Liar. Yeah, hang out with Spinks. Cap, not happening. Probably gonna end up breaking that promise because Toma, uh, you know, gets into some unlucky situation. Then he'll say, oh, just my luck again. Then Index will get lonely and bored and she'll go out. Then she'll get fucking kidnapped and then we gotta save her. Like, that's happened a lot of times. I guarantee you, we're not coming home right away after school to hang out with Index. Something else is gonna happen. Bye-bye. You know what? She needs to get a fucking job. She ain't paying rent. Lazy ass bitch ain't even- she's a straight up neat. She ain't got no job. She ain't got no education. She sits at her apartment with Sphinx doing fucking nothing. Get a fucking job. <laughs> He's very cute though. What are you gonna eat? <laughs> I don't know. Fucking try to go to Sensei's place. She probably teaching. Break into Sensei's place and eat her food or something. I don't know. Counter stop. Identity unknown. Um, this section of Index Season 1 is called the Three Stories Arc or something, right? So is this, is this the third, like the final part of the arc? Where the first one was, you know, um, Misaka, Misaka fucking getting simped by. And then second one was Accelerator Arc. And now Toma's whatever you're doing today. And then there's three episodes left. So maybe after this, the last three episodes, 22 to 24, will be like, the final? Or are we just starting a new shit? This is a new arc? Three stories is complete? Ah, it's over. The, th the three stories arc is over. What the fuck was the three stories? We had two stories. <laughs> Everyone's telling me a bunch of different shit right now. We've only had two stories, man. I think the, this could be the last story and it's going to be four episodes to cover like the third story. Because the first story was, you know, Misaka and the fucking shapeshifter guy. And then the second one was... You know, Accelerator and Misaka Misaka, and this could be the third one. I'm fucking you. Why the fuck would they put the last story in the fucking season two? The three stories. You gotta fucking do it in fucking succession. The third story happens in season two. Why? It's fucking stupid. You have an arc called the three stories arc, and then the third story is extended in the second until, and do we have another complete fucking separate arc here? Whatever, I'm over it. Oh shit, it's our girlfriend. Hey. That's her. Yo. Yeah, I had to fucking fight the dude for your ass. Index was first. Well, we made contact with Misaka first. But we were never like that with Misaka ever. We're still not like that with Misaka. I think this is one-sided love. I don't think Toma is really affectionate to Misaka at all. If anything, we did this shit for 32 to save them. And you are... Only like a One Direction love, right? Bye. 
Oh, she's swallowing. No. We're the transfer student. Who is it? Sensei! <laughs> she got a car? Yo, Sensei is rich enough to have a little car. I mean, it's, it's a tiny car, right? But she's a tiny gal. I, I thought that uh, she's too tiny to be driving. She can't even fucking see the road, man. Look at her eye level. Looking like Sensei's doing all right, though. <laughs> That's so dangerous. I can drive even if my feet doesn't reach the brake. This is cute, but this is beyond dangerous. Yeah, sensei is pretty chill. AIM diffusion fields. Unmindful actions. Very subtle as per aura. Okay. Holy shit, this is crazy, man. Whenever Komo is sensei is in frame, she just like fucking goes rap god and just drops so much fucking like technical information, but. Right now, AIM, basically subtle traces as per aura you can detect. You can sense if someone's nearby. You can even detect their powers. This is crazy, actually. <laughs> the Dragon Ball shit. Straight up Dragon Ball shit. I can sense this key. Alistair? Alistair? There's another teleporter. There's another teleporter other than, you know, Misaka's number one sim, Kuroka, Kuroka, Kuroko. Um, Alistair here, right? So Chimikaro also working with Alistair? Who is she from, by the way? Who is she? Have we met her? I don't remember her from anywhere. But she, did she help Stata also get in here? Is her debut? Okay. But she's a teleporter, though, just like Kuroko. She don't say nothing. New opponents? More church? New antagonist, Sherry. Hmm? That's a lot of fucking plans. Why is Toma Alistair's number one soldier? But Toma doesn't even know Alistair exists. Like, 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 he has so much faith in Toma. Even against, like, you know, Stale and, like, the fucking vampire shit. He's like, I take Toma. The imaginary number school district's five elemental... What the fuck? But this is the condensed plan. Five elemental control method. Okay. Again, how very, very vague and obscure, but Sherry is probably gonna be the next antagonist, right? Sherry is also like someone. There's more church people just fucking illegally crossing the borders. Academy City, bro. Dude, the migrant crisis in Academy City is crazy. We were supposed to have super, super important like security measures, but people just fucking smuggling all the time. Sherry from the church is dangerous. Alistair's condensing some fucking plans. Five elemental bullshit, I don't know. And Toma? He's gonna somehow solve everything again without even knowing who Alistair is. <laughs> Just to get Sensei upset at you? He gets off on that? <laughs> yeah. Sherry. Sherry is the transfer student. Sherry. <laughs> Who is it? <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> what is she doing? This is a transfer student? Okay. <laughs> With Sphinx too. Hello. No, she's not the- wait, Double beat it, double beat it, wait, 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 wait. It could still be Sherry. Index just showed up to find lunch. Toma, what are you gonna eat for lunch? Sister, <laughs> 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 Koi says 
Beyonce is so broke though, and she's gonna pay for Index's lunch as well. I feel bad for Komoe Sensei. She's struggling already as is. There's someone coming into the class. Is that the transfer student? 100 yen, please. What the fuck? He missed, he missed back. Oh no, Index is gonna get in trouble. Komoe literally just said, Just go home. Don't get involved with any strangers, please. She's probably gonna meet Sherry some way, somehow. One second. Technical difficulty. And three, two, one. We are good. Lunch vouchers. <laughs> Index is so set on getting lunch. Which button? You gotta press the right button though. Which one you gonna press? It's on the screen. <laughs> Index got robbed. The vending machine robbed him, bro. We gotta go back to Komoe Sensei. Index, please. Sherry? It could be Sherry. <laughs> you can't touch people. <laughs> she is. She. Yeah, I mean, you know, it's Index. She got no fucking knowledge of this. Get the money back. Oh my gosh, she's stacked. She still thinks it's a fucking TV. Sherry. Let's look at her hairstyle. It's pretty long, right? Let's go back to the Alistair scene. Jimmy Cutto is talking about Sherry. Can we find that specific scene? No, it's different. Sherry has like whitish hair and darker complexion. So this most likely is not Sherry at all, unless it's like a disguise. She is absolutely fucking stacked though. Not Sherry. I don't think she cares about your drama index. What the fuck? There's so many transfer students today. She does. She looks like she's just cosplaying. Over there. Just my luck. Say Fuku? Naked. Get googly moogly. The most cliche shit, bro. Look at those bite marks. She is such a chomper. I do know the golden ratio, and it scales based on pi specifically, and it's like this beauty and symmetry, and like this number found in many different things, like plants and leaves and trees and everything. It's just almost like this golden number, the spiral, the truth of the universe. The index. How is Yoka gonna be important for this arc? What's she all about? You're not wrong. She's not wrong about that. Yeah, very cute cat. Jesus. That cat's gonna suffocate. The cat's dying. Is Fink detecting something off about Hyoka there? It was just the suffocating by the booba and got out, right? Sphinx, is she sus or what? Mm. Komoe san say. You're skipping that too. You wanna hang out? Because he's the main character of this show right now. Maybe. You never know. 
I wonder if Toma would have AIM. Because, like, I don't even know what the fuck his Imagine Breaker power really is, and he's at level 0. I bet people like Misaka and level 5s, right? The higher level you are, you probably emit way more of those, like, you know, Esper Aura. What if Toma is, like, can go undetected, like, no one could ever sense it? That would be, like, a very cool advantage for being, like, a level 0 or something, but I don't know. Yo, Kagan. What the fuck? She just disappeared. Wait, 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 wait. Something is suspicious as fuck here. Whoa, 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 whoa. She was literally just there. Something is off. Very sus. Thank you, Volley Redwise, for that nine months of tier one, man. Appreciate that, buddy. But, like, something is very off. I thought that she would be Sherry, but it was not Sherry. But her being gone here, talk of AIM, transfer student, that's very off. There she is. Maybe it's your S for power to go like invisible or something. Maybe she teleports. No, not at all. Toma's chilling. He's just... He's not very affectionate to Index, I guess. Nah, even Sphinx lets cap. Yeah? He did see that. How about no one has Hyoka? Where did she go just back then? 100 yen, please. Hyoka and he made me contact there. No, I don't think Hyoka saw. Only Hime saw. Damn, Toma? Daddy's credit card? Yo. I know who you are. I mean, you're kind of competing with the index, and you just didn't even show up for the last couple episodes, and I don't, I don't know. It's Eh. Komoe Baka. Komoe is the reason she can't hang out right now. Mm. Something is off about her. Mm. Yeah? Probably. Her academics are as just good as her big bus size. Yeah. Counter stop. AIM. No, never mind. District 5 Element Agency. Alistair mentioned something specific about this. Hyoka is now involved with Alistair's plan. 5 Element Agency. They control Academy City from the shadows. I don't know. There's too many transfer students. She should approach Index. That was interesting lore though. Hyoka, are you really sharing this, guys? Is it a red herring? You're someone, entire, someone else entirely different. Only one transfer student. She was here and she was missing out on the entrance ceremony too. As if she didn't even fucking know about it. She's a fraud. But which side is she really on? <laughs> Underground world. Yes, take some steps down and you're in the subway station and some malls in there, yep. Yeah, you saw her get changed and didn't really act out, so she's still kind of weirded out, I guess. You see my tatas. It's not a big deal, get over it. Who is this? Hello, PE teacher? What the fuck? Honor students. Anti skill isn't the first time it got mentioned. That org, that group, that faction, whatever it is, got mentioned again. 
いで一つだけ確認しときたくても本当に二人いたのかなヨカ is a fraud、eh? I don't know is there only one? is there two? what's going on? uh oh She's like a teacher and a cop at the same time? Maybe she teaches specific like cop students. Yo. AIM. Hmm. There she is. There she is again! <laughs> the enemy is a stand user. Look out. It could be anyone amongst us. Hmm. <laughs> I wonder who it could be, guys. Kuroko, why is she tra tracking her down? Flair? I mean, you stand out a lot. Is she, is she anti-skill? Is that what this is? She always talks about judgment and stuff like that. I mean, she, she shot the Flair. He's after her. I, 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 don't, I don't... Is she, is she a vigilante? <laughs> I don't know. Is she just a fucking vigilante? <laughs> <laughs> Judgment and anti skill different faction. But they're both like cops though in this city, aren't they? What the fuck is Judgment supposed to be? Is this junior anti skill? Okay, it's just basically kids. Judgment is like kids and anti skill is like fucking grown ups. It'd be funny if Kuroko was like a vigilante by herself though. Judgment. Oh, whoa. Damn, the teleport aura. Got him. The fuck? She teleported. Wow. Okay, so this is how she fights, I see. Oh no, she wrote something on the ground. Huh? Golem. Golem. Railgun. Oh, it's a this one this time. I thought she always does like this, but this is like this is pretty cool too. I wonder why she couldn't teleport when she was caught by the hand. Maybe just like restrictions. But as soon as the hand got released, she could pour it out. I wonder what's about that. She gone. Is she naked now? She ripped all her clothes off. It did look scary there. It looked like she was gonna die by the golem, bro. Huh? I thought for a second, like, Sherry was her. F like, like I, I genuinely thought we we're getting twisted and, and Sherry, like, tricked us as. Kuroko for a second. Holy fuck. Oh. Valley of your breasts. Aww. I thought that all her clothes would have been like fucking ripped off because you know this, but okay. Chief Gurigori. Oh no, she fucking writing again. Oh, she fucking writing. She yapping. Bible lore. There seems to be some sort of relation with like, you know, Bible lore and like creation of man from mud, golem. It's probably all related to that, right? Also, she just fucking spammed golem Ellis here everywhere. I thought she was writing so many different things. She is literally just writing Golem Ellis over, over, and over again, bruh. And she's looking for a guy named Eris and Golem Eris, and now they're all eyeballs, and this is basically Kimetsu no Yaiba. Hashira training arc with the newest, you know, rank four, upper four guy using, you know, using eyes as vision. So she has vision all around Academy City now, I guess. Church people are always just saying mumbo jumbo shit, bro. And that 
is today's episode of Twadano Index. And what the fuck happened? I am confused as usual because whenever church people show up and they start fucking yapping and blapping, I got no clue. But the important shit is Index still has no lunch. Alistair is talking with Chimikado. Chimikado also, you know, is working with Alistair just like Stale. There's a teleporter girl that, you know, brought Chimikado here. Sherry is an illegal immigrant that is just fucking going under as usual. And Alistair is saying, let Toma handle it. There's also a different thing with the five element faction something. There's like, you know, he's a condensed plan. Sure, sure, sure. Kimi is a transfer student. This Hyoka girl is very, very suspicious. Mm, it's kind of feeling like Angel Falls when I'm suspecting Misha and the dad, but clearly she is not Sherry. So maybe Hyoka is not a bad person, but it's just seeming mysterious right now because she just seems like an unknown person that just like disappears. And what was with that? She just kind of disappeared out of fucking nowhere. And now we got to see Kuroko fight. You know, it was the teleporting skill is cool. Saw Misaka, I think, shoot a railgun. We saw the Golem Ellis thing. And the Sherry girl... I still don't really have any clue what her objective is, but she did say, now, come out. I don't fucking know. I, I genuinely don't know what the fuck she's here to do. But again, the tides of the balance between magic and science is on the line, and Toma needs to solve it without even knowing that he's fucking part of the plan. That's it for me. If you're still here, though, and if you enjoyed this reaction, please like the video. Check out the other playlist for even more content. But until next time, take care.